Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. You know when you're having an animated conversation with somebody and you accidentally, you know, do that? Well, it's good to have other ways to fix it. This straight flex stuff should do the job. So first off guys, this is not a paid promotional ad. I mean, I just got sent this stuff. I'm gonna try it out. Um, I've always used paper tape or California patches or all the conventional methods. But um, again, you know, for those times where you're like just really having a good discussion with somebody and that happens, well, it's good to know there's products you can use. Maybe, I don't know, I mean, let's try it. Okay, well, what is this stuff though? This is the Straight Flex Roll Patch. You see right there. What does it say? Lightly sand area to be repaired. No. Two, cut amount of roll patch needed. Roll patch is imprinted with standard designs for trimming. Let's take a look at that actually, that looks kind of cool. So it's gonna be almost impossible for you guys to see, but there is actually all these lines on it that have like pot light sizes, outlet sizes. So a lot of different things that we often have to patch. Okay, but for something like this, um, we're just going to cut a little chunk of this stuff off. I don't need too much. I want to get this packaging stuff out of here. And we'll just go with about this big. So, you know, like that. I'll do the job. I totally put that too high. That was supposed to be below the vanity here. I'm also going to trim it just a little bit smaller because it's still a bit big. That's better. What does it say next? Apply drywall compound quarter inch thick directly to the back of the patch. Place patch over center of repair and wipe down flat to wall using joint knife. Immediately skim coat patch and let dry. Compound that remains on back side of patch in damaged areas makes patch very rigid. Next it says to apply quarter inch of compound and make sure you don't have the writing side, so the back side of this thing, apply quarter inch of compound directly to patch. Okay, so that was super annoying. Camera went out of focus, but let's take a look at this. Look at all that mud that goes through. So that's a lot of mud right there. That's definitely going to make it super strong. Anyways, let's start over. Okay, put a quarter inch of mud on there. Put that on there. Are we still in focus? Yes, we are. Wipe it flush. So it's definitely pretty thick, you know, compared to like a paper tape patch, but I bet you, whoops. I bet you, if you put it on tight, that it winds up pretty good. This is all-purpose mud, by the way. And it says to coat it right away. So let's give it a nice hefty coat. Feather your edges. Smooth it out. Looking good. Well, that focus thing was a little bit annoying, but I think it actually worked out for the better because we got to see just how much mud there is on there. And because that's all purpose heavyweight, that's gonna be super hard. Anyways, we'll let this dry and get back to it. it. Says it needs at least one more coat, and I believe that. Okay, so this stuff is looking not as good as I hoped once it dries. I think one of the inherent problems with it is that it has that bow in it, so it had a natural curve that it wanted to follow as it dried. So, you know, there's a fair bit of rocker. That's a big build out compared to a California patch. sides of my bucket and it was messy. I got big clumps in my mud right now. It's 
All right, trowels are made for pushing, pushing, they'll squash them down. Let's get one more coat on this huge mungus patch. Keep in mind, there's a flat joint here that added to the depth of the build out. So it would have been about, you know, like at least a foot smaller. Right now it's like three feet wide. think about this stuff here this old roll patch well the first thing I think about it is if you're actually using it a lot you might want to um, you know like say you had a ton of patches to do like doorknob hole type thingies you might want to cut off all the pieces individually and then put them in something weighted down like pressed like you know a leaf in a book so that these things actually go really flat because I think it curled a little bit with the wet mud, like it just held its form a little bit and that made it need to be built out more. In terms of adhesion, this stuff seems to have really good adhesion with all purpose mud. Be sure you're using like all purpose heavy or a taping mud, or if it's quick set, add glue. You know the rules guys, but I definitely think it adds more build out and that definitely could have been avoided with different types of patches. However, I think it's pretty user friendly. Like a homeowner could put this on the wall, smear a bunch of mud on it and do a pretty good job. Whereas California patches can be really tricky. If your mud's not thin enough, if you're not experienced with doing them, they can have all sorts of problems. So this is definitely more beginner and user friendly. Another place I could see this working really well is in like, say if you do deficiency work, like in high rises or something, or if you're a maintenance guy, having a roll of this stuff would be really handy because it's just quick, easy. You're not having to carry a bunch of scraps of drywall, do a bunch of cuts, throw out a bunch of little scraps. So it's definitely a good product in that way, for sure. Less tools, less materials to have on hand. That being said, I'm pretty stoked to actually have a roll of this stuff hanging out with my tools because, you know, I'm definitely going to use it. Um, I just don't know when. Again, I also think this could be used for bigger things like plaster repairs that need a little more structure than, say, regular tape is going to give you. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Um, hope you guys got something useful out of this video. I will try to link this stuff in the description below if you are looking for it. So. Thanks for watching. Um, till the next video. That was virtually carbon copy, the last 15 seconds of my other video. <laughs>